Hey guys, welcome to Afterthoughts from Cabrinas in Los Angeles. I am the host of the show, Zach Smith, and what Afterthoughts is going to be is once a month we will be featuring a student from the academy and having them sit down with me and doing a commentary over a role that we filmed in class. So as you can probably tell, our first guest this month will be brown belt featherweight Isaac Doderline. He is one of Cabrinas' top students here. Uh, is already having a great 2015, taking first in the Abu Dhabi World Pro, first in the featherweight division, and second in the open class at the Europeans, first in Brazilian Nationals, first at Pan Ams, and second at Worlds. Before we get into that, I will let you know that we are also taking requests for instructional videos, so if you have something you'd like to see Cobrinha explain, please leave a comment and let us know, and we will get to that. Now... With that being said, enjoy Afterthoughts with Isaac Doderline, and thanks for watching. And here going against Isaac is another brown belt at the academy here, Tino. So Tino's playing a little bit of reverse dilihiva here. I'm trying to underhook that leg and grab the lapel so I can kind of isolate that leg from going dilihiva or lasso. So now I'm trying to step back behind that, that bottom reverse dilihiva leg and trying to get to the stack position right here. What I'm trying to do is keep that pressure on the lapel so that he can't open his knee and then with my other hand I'm pinning that foot to the mat so that he can't use that as a lever to push his hips back to the mat, push his hips back to the mat. And now I'm trying to find something here like uh, if I can switch the lapel or go to leg drags so I'm just kind of like playing around with the position a little bit. I switch sides, try to go for the leg drag here. Always controlling the hips. As I pull up, I'm grabbing the, the lapel here, trying to keep keep him from moving. You grabbing that lapel to keep him like scrunched up, right? Mm -hmm. So he can't extend himself? Mm -hmm. Exactly. He turns, I try to get my first tuck in here. Try to get the seat pull as well. Taking Tino's back is no uh, easy task. He's got extremely good defense here. Trying to throw on that hook. Tino's pretty compact. It's tough yeah, to get in there. Tino's, uh, Tino's defense is another level. He knows, uh, he knows how to keep you get. Uh, he knows how to keep you from getting what you want. Yeah, he's he's doing really good at pulling the pulling pulling my arm down so that I can't cinch in the choke, and he keeps rotating, 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 trying to give me a half guard here. And I'm trying to to follow the hips and prevent that from happening. He gets actually pretty close right here, but I keep the the, the grips on the collar. I'm trying to strip out my hips to prevent him from going to his knees here. I'm to throw in that second hook. Looks like I'm trying to cinch it in. Just getting in. The second hook. Now talk about this foot that you got hooked here around his calf, your your left foot. You know, I I, I keep that in there to do what I just did the armbar right now okay. because. Uh, it really isolates his hips. So when I throw the leg over, that, that little leg in the middle helps uh, throw his hips down when I throw the leg over his face. That's I always like doing that. When I Whenever I can get the choke from the back, I always try to uh, transition to like a Kimura trap arm bar. Yeah. Lately, we've been doing a lot of Kimura trap drills with Kobrinha, so that, that position has gotten a lot, a lot tighter. Right, they've been so much fun. Yeah, that, we've been doing, yeah, I think we've done it for like three or four weeks now. Yeah. Just, just Kimura trap, a lot of specific training as well. That's one of my go-to crutches, is that yeah. Kimura grip, man. Here I'm trying a little bit of uh, Baron Bolo action. Try, it looks like I'm trying to grab the belt and invert here. Trying to slide, yeah. You know, trying to get my right knee under his, under his knee, so I can try to get a leg drag position. Yeah. 
he's doing really good with controlling footwork. I get a little X, X here, but he does really good with his footwork, kicking in between my legs to prevent me getting um, what I want. Again, that's Tino, Tino's defense. Tino's defense is on point, man. Breaking the grip, going back to the Hiva. Trying to underhook the, the Daily Hiva leg to open something up. I'm going to the sit guard now. Tina does a really good job of controlling my leg, not letting me put it in the middle, so I have to get him off balance to try and come up and sweep. Ending up in a single leg X position. What I'm trying to do now is uh, bring my right knee to the floor so that I can kind of float over that that hook on the inside to start to like fold her and smash his hips. But he does a really good job of keeping his heel on my hip so that I can't uh, float to the side and smash his hips. Down. Trying to base out and clear the foot up the hip. Tino still doing a really good job. So you can stand her the X guard, try to back step out, try to open things up a little bit. Gets back to the wrist of the Hiva and I get the underhook, but I try to cinch in the cross face here. He's just keeping his head down, not letting you have it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was able to get it deep now, I'm trying to long step, taking out my, my right leg. Looks like I'm trying to transition to knee slice here to see I free and get my pass. And off my right leg, I'm trying to isolate that, that his arm right there so that I can just start to attack the other arm. That's where I get a Kimura grip here. I'm stepping over for the arm bar. Here, whenever I get this Kimura grip, I always try to cup the near side of my hip so that both my knees are pressing down on his face. So it makes it really hard for him to come up and stack me. And I got the umbrella there. <clears throat> so again, trying to use the, the lasso to control the distance here. I'm trying to get my right foot in the bicep or the hip. Once I, once I get that foot on the, on the bicep and hip, then I transition the other leg to the Hiva. I'm trying to work another Baron Bolo transition with Tino once again with his legendary footwork. It's really hard to get anything here. Try to come up on the other side with the leg drag. Grabbing the collar to keep him from shrimping. I'm going to step over here in the leg drag position. You do a really good job of transitioning that Baron Bolo into the leg drag. Yeah, it's uh, when people defend the the Barambolo, it's you know the thing that the thing that makes it easiest um, to take the back of Barambolo is when you can get your arm under the back. But a lot of times these guys they they really know that position well, so they throw their back on the ground, so they're free. Um, Rather than you get that control, so it's really you know you really have to do a good job of like isolating the hips and switching sides to find that leg drag. You're working on the back. I'm trying to get that second hook in the T-Bags lap right now. Okay, so I'm sinking in now. Hi guys. Hey man. You think I'm doing no gi? Huh? You think I'm doing no gi? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I have to go teach class after this. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hey. So here again, you're on Tino's back. Mm -hmm. He's defending. What's he? Not anymore. Yeah. Time's out. Tino's a beast. He's a tough dude. One last look over at Cabrinha training. Oh, Fabio, Fabio has the Kimar Chap with Cabrinha. No, they have, they're doing specific training. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and doing this, man. Appreciate you being the first guest. That's awesome. Uh, anything that you got to plug? I know that you have a site that you're going to 
start uh, posting videos on, right, so people can interact with you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good website. It's called uh, connectpal.com. They have, uh, they host a lot of, uh, like, fitness models and, and personal trainers, and they basically can post, like, your workouts and your diet, your diets and everything, you know, like fitness routines. I'm going to host, uh, uh, you know, like a jiu-jitsu online training, and basically it's, uh, what I like about it, it's going to be very interactive, so it's going to be, it's going to be like a social media type feel, like a Facebook, Instagram-ish, and, uh, Basically, like you guys are going to be able to interact with me and uh, ask me questions, and I'll be able to send messages back. I'm going to be posting uh, weekly um, uh, 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 jiu-jitsu videos, like my favorite drills, um, my favorite techniques, like variations for bambolos and passes and everything. So, uh, and it's all going to connect together and make like you know big flow charts. So it's going to be really cool how it's going to work out. So uh, yeah, when it when it comes out, you guys should definitely check it out. Yeah, pay attention to that. Uh, where are you going to post that it's at? Sorry? Where are you going to post that it's going to be at? Do you got like Twitter or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I'll be posting it on uh, my Facebook and Instagram. Cool. Sounds good. So follow them on that. Uh, what about tournaments that you're going to be in? What's the next, what's the next place that people can watch you fight? Um, not this weekend, but the next week I'm going to be, uh, in, I think, in Santa Cruz. I'm going to be competing at the Santa Cruz Pro and try to win the, the money in the lightweight absolute. Right on, man. Well, cool. I appreciate you coming on, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. We'll have you on again soon. Sounds good. All right, and that's the show, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget that we are taking requests for instructional videos. So be sure to subscribe to our channel for those and other videos. And make sure to like Isaac's Facebook page for the launch of that website. And also like Cobrina's Facebook page to keep updated with news and everything from around the academy. My name is Zach Smith, and this has been Afterthoughts from Cabrinas.